Uh, usually start of my shift, I'm, I register campers, make sure they're all taken care of. And then, um, so I do that, and then a lot of public relations, talking to people. Yeah. Um, you know, you get uh, complaints, concerns, that type of thing. And then um, generally just making a uh, presence in the park. Um, our day use areas get heavily used. Um, so we sit there. Uh, we do have radar in a vehicle, so we run stationary radar for people speeding through the parks. Mm -hmm. um, and the reckless driving, that sort of thing. And then, um, you know, then we have 10:30 uh, hour, quiet hours that we will we have to enforce. So then, usually at 10:30, we make everybody shut the radios off, and and quiet out. Guests are supposed to leave at 10:30 as well. And um, uh, so then, you know, it takes a little while. And then, you know, by the time you you kind of start quieting down one park, and you go to the other one, and then you got to kind of go back to the other one and finish it up. So, a very understanding wife. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I just kind of got to work around that. And, I mean, it's, for the most part, things are kind of, you know, we try to take care of things before we do go home for the day. And, uh, you know, a lot of it's pretty simple. It only takes a few minutes to solve the issue. And, um, you know, come back, you know, within a half hour or something like that. But other times it takes a lot longer to deal with it. I guess, uh, we've had, I mean, I think every drowning, every drowning we've had in the counties that I've been here, I've been involved in. And that, that you know, that's one of the one of the bad side of things but then you know you get the one I got called out of how it went on my off one time for uh people with guns in the campground and they said they're the AR style assault rifles and I get down there they're airsoft guns so it's just kind of a relief I was like okay. <laughs>